Do you remember when Robert N. Manry, a copy editor at the Cleveland Plain Dealer, sailed from the United States to England in a 13 and a half foot sailboat? 3,200 miles across the North Atlantic in a boat so small you'd hesitate to take it out on Lake Michigan or Long Island Sound as small craft warnings were flying. For 78 days, Manry and his tiny 36-year-old sailboat battled one of the toughest stretches of salt water on Earth. Gales blew the boat on its side. Manley tried to nap during the day and sailed at night so that he could try to avoid being run down and chopped into kindling and hamburger by great ocean-going steamers. On several occasions, he was washed over the side in heavy seas, and each time he'd haul himself back aboard by a lifeline he kept tied about himself and to his boat. He suffered terrible hallucinations, the result of having to take so many pep pills to stay awake during the long nights. Why? What made him do it? It wasn't publicity. He went about the whole thing so quietly, practically no one even knew what he was up to. He thought no one would pay any attention to him, and that was fine with him. The reason was that he had dreamed of sailing the Atlantic ever since he'd been a small boy. He bought the dinky old boat for $250. He completely rebuilt it, taught himself navigation, and practiced long-distance sailing on Lake Erie. He told his wife the real reason for his embarking on so incredible a journey and so vulnerable a craft. He said to her, there's a time when one must decide either to risk everything to fulfill one's dreams or sit for the rest of one's life in the backyard. That's why Mr. Manley went sailing over the mountains of deep water in a boat only about twice the size of your bathtub. That's why he sat in his tiny open cockpit and weathered storms that caused the passengers to clear the weather decks of great ocean liners. He was fulfilling a dream he'd carried in his heart since he'd been a small boy. Well, offers for books and magazine articles poured in on him. Cleveland gave him a hero's welcome, as did the 20,000 people who wildly cheered the successful end of his voyage when he arrived in Falmouth, England. It's been proposed to Congress that Manley's boat, Tinkerbell, be placed in the Smithsonian Institution alongside Charles Lindbergh's plane, The Spirit of St. Louis. Courage. The courage to finally take one's life in one's own hands and go after the big dream has a way of making dreams come true. It seems to open hidden doorways from which good things begin to point the way. It's never easy, and the good results come only after we've made the journey in our own way. For Manley, at 47 years of age, it was sailing 3,000 miles to the North Atlantic. Each of us must make his own voyage to fulfillment in his own way. Or sit in the backyard. <laughs>